Welcome back everyone. My name is Katie, owner of Edgewater Avenue, and today we're gonna to be making the sailor top. The instant download PDF pattern for the sailor top is available now, so if you'd like to check that out, the link is in the description. And I do want to mention that this top is a little more advanced than some of my other tutorials. So if you're confident in your abilities with sewing swimwear, or if you're wanting something a little bit more challenging, then this is the top for you. But if you're newer to this, I wouldn't recommend starting on this top. I'd try something a little bit easier. So let's get started. For materials today, we're gonna need swimwear fabric. I chose an outer fabric as well as a lining fabric. And as some of you guys know, I do like to use regular, just nylon spandex swimwear fabric for my lining. I don't like to use traditional lining. I think it just feels cheap. So I'm using a ribbed fabric for my outer and then this nude color for my lining. You're also gonna need swimwear elastic. I'm using quarter inch rubber elastic. Next, you're gonna need some plastic boning, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more about later on, but you are gonna need it. You're also gonna to want to have a few sewing tools on hand, like scissors or a rotary cutter. You're gonna want a seam ripper, a fabric marker, and a loop turner. And if you'd like to learn about what sewing supplies are good for sewing swimwear, I'm gonna link a blog post in the description with all of that information. And finally, the last thing you're gonna need is a pattern, which like I mentioned, it is linked in the description and it's called the sailor top. So first I'm gonna cut the back piece in the lining fabric, leaving a quarter inch of seam allowance while I'm cutting. And I'm just gonna cut one for the lining. Now usually when I cut out patterns, I do use the whole pattern piece, but for this top, at least for the front piece, I found it to be a lot easier to cut on the fold. So as you'll see, I'm using only half of the pattern. And that's because cutting on the fold is gonna make it a lot easier to get that V down accurately. So to cut on the fold, I'm gonna fold my fabric in half and then line up my pattern piece so that the V shape is facing that fold. Again, I'm gonna cut, leaving a quarter inch of seam allowance. So now I'm gonna repeat the cutting process just with my self fabric. Off camera, I pinned my front piece where I plan to sew, which is gonna be the shoulder holes, the neckline, and that V. So we're gonna switch over to the machine. For this tutorial, I didn't use elastic while filming, just so you could see a little bit better what I was doing, but you would attach elastic as usual, so you're gonna do it on the neckline, the shoulder holes, that bottom edge, everywhere except for that V. You're gonna leave that thing alone. And that's because you're putting our boning there later. So I'm gonna use my serger and I'm gonna sew a four thread overlock stitch. Then when I'm ready to sew the V part, I'm actually gonna switch over to my sewing machine and do a tight straight stitch. And I found that with the sharpness of that V, it's a lot easier to use a sewing machine instead of a serger. And usually I don't use a straight stitch when doing anything swimwear. This V part isn't gonna stretch at all, so you're good to do a straight stitch. Show. 
So since the corner is so sharp, I'm gonna stop before finishing that whole corner and I'm gonna take it away from my machine and I'm gonna cut a small slit to help it lay flat when it's turned over. So as you can see, the V should lay nice and flat and cutting that slit is what allows it to lay flat. So now you're going to go back in and you're going to secure the rest of that V with the straight stitch. So as I mentioned, we are going to be using boning in this tutorial. And boning is a structural component of a garment that helps it stay rigid in the places it needs to be. You usually see boning in a lot of formal wear. Uh, so you have a bodice piece, you'll have these princess seams right here, and a lot of the times they're lined with boning. And it just helps the piece stay a little more structured and together. So in our case, the boning is going to help keep that V shape while it's worn. So you're going to measure your boning so that it fits along that V shape, and you're going to cut two pieces. Then we're going to sew over each piece together to secure that v-shape together and this is a very important step so don't skip this it's very important that your v doesn't really budge and i'm using a straight stitch and i'm going over it a bunch of times just to make sure it's as secure as possible so before we deal with the boning some more we're going to switch over and make our straps I'm cutting my straps to be one and a quarter inch and I'm making them extra long because I'm just going to go back and trim them. If you want to know exactly how long your straps should be, that information is included in the PDF pattern. As usual, we're going to fold our straps in half with the right sides together and sew along the raw edges, attaching elastic as well. Then using our loop turner, we're going to flip our straps to the right side. I kind of breezed through that part. I've done it a bunch of times in lots of my tutorials. So if you are unfamiliar with the process, then I recommend you watch some of my other videos. Now that we have all of our components needed for this top, we're gonna finish off this front piece before we move on to the back piece. So first I'm gonna flip my top back to the wrong side and I'm gonna insert my straps inside of the strap openings. Pin them down if needed and then you're gonna tuck the excess inside of the top. Then we're gonna pin this bottom edge of the top with right sides together. And when I sew, I'm gonna secure each of those straps down and I'm gonna serge all along that bottom edge. I'm also gonna attach elastic at this step. So once that's done, you're gonna take the front piece back to the right side and then it's time to do the boning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our V and we're gonna insert it inside of the top so that it straddles the V shape that is part of the top already. So you're gonna pin down the fabric on either side of this V shape just to make sure that nothing slides while we're sewing. We're gonna switch over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a straight stitch about a half an inch in from the edge of the V. So when you do this, it's gonna look a little bit like a strap channel. And basically what this does is it just prevents the V from escaping that little V area and going into the other parts of the top. So finally, I'm gonna sew a horizontal straight stitch that attaches each of those little strap channels together. Now this isn't totally necessary, but I do think it looks better this way and it provides an extra stitch to keep that V boning together. So we're gonna put our front piece to the side for now and we're gonna switch gears and finish off our back piece. 
With right sides together, I'm going to sew along the top and the bottom edge of the back piece, attaching elastic as well. Then, using a seam ripper, I'm going to seam rip two holes on the top edge that I will use to insert my straps. These only need to be about a quarter inch, maybe even a little bit less. I'm also going to seam rip a hole where the clothing label would usually be, which is like right in the center of the back. And this hole, I'm going to make it about an inch, and this is what we're going to use to attach the sides together later on. But first, I'm going to insert my straps into the strap holes that I made, and then I'm going to flip the back piece back inside out to secure the straps down from the inside. So now that the straps are attached, we're going to attach the front piece to the back piece. To do this, I'm going to reach inside the one inch clothing label hole that I made and I'm going to grab that front piece and pull it through. Making sure that right sides are together, you're going to sew across all four layers. And you're going to repeat this with both sides each time going through that little clothing label hole. Now again, I know that I kind of breezed through that. I've done it in a lot of my other tutorials, so this is why it's more of an advanced tutorial. So now that pretty much completes the top, you're just gonna use a ladder stitch or just a top stitch to finish off that final hole. And here's how it turned out. So as you can see, the V stretches a little bit when the top is worn, and that's why it's so important to sew your boning pieces together, just to ensure that that V shape sticks. If you don't have boning or if you just really don't want to use it, if you sew a top stitch in the same V method that we did at the final step, you can kind of have a little more structure just from that one stitch. If you'd like to make the top for yourself, head on down to the description to get the link to the PDF pattern. If you haven't already, please go visit edgewateravenue.com to see all of our patterns and tutorials and lots of fun stuff there. Also follow us on Instagram at edgewaterave and tag us in your project photos. I love to repost them. And that's the sailor top. So thank you and I'll see you next time. Everything that we do.